What's going on everyone, Nick Van Dutch here, back with another video. And today in this import-export DLC of GTA Online, you can do the missions very easy by putting yourself in a public solo session. I have posted this method two months ago when the Bikers DLC came out, but I just don't, I just want to refresh your mind that doing this uh, gives you the best possibility to steal the cars and sending them without anyone bother you. So if you're ready guys, let's start the video. Be sure to hit your PS button, go to settings, network and then set up internet connection. Choose a LAN cable, custom automatic, not specify automatic again and then at MTU settings hit manual and change your MTU settings from 1500 which is standard and set it to 800 and then test your internet connection. When setting your MTU settings to 800, it will trick GTA that you are on a slow connection, so it will put you in a public session by yourself. I also have done this with 600 and 700, it gives you even a bigger chance that actually nobody can join you. With 800, here and there sometimes it will happen, but most of the times you will remain solo. But um, 800 gives you the best chances because it will also reduce the loading time. After that, I'm now just uh, in a session uh, for very long time solo, but I'm just uh, showing you a quick mission and all the time I remain solo and nobody will join me. But if you find a new session and if you see somebody in your session, just find new session again and wait until it's loaded up in a public session by yourself. So this method, the MTU settings, it will keep you in a public session so you can run CEO and steal the cars and selling them without any other players bothering you and messing things up. So this is the easiest way to fill up your garage very quickly and yeah that's the way it goes. But like I said earlier before, I assume you can also do this with uh, the Xbox. You just have to find your network uh, network settings and just customize it. So you can choose your MDU settings. Like I said earlier before, you can also even change it to 700 and 600. If you, it will give you even a bigger chance that you will remain solo all the time uh, by setting it to 800, like what I did. Uh, it didn't happen for me uh, a lot of this uh, yet. But in the past, here and there, sometimes somebody can join your session, but it won't be more than one. There's also other methods that you can split the session by chasing the date on the PS4. I was not sure if you can also do that on the Xbox. But when you do that, it can sometimes freeze up your screen so it will get stuck and you have to restart your PlayStation again. But we are not doing that because when you're splitting your session, the possibility is after a few minutes that random people can join your session. So it won't be solo anymore. So maybe when you do the day change, that method, when you split the session, you will be in a solo session maybe for around three, four, five, maybe tops 10 minutes. But after that, people will start joining your session, so you won't be solo anymore. And after maybe 10 or 15 minutes later on, it is maybe packed already with 20 or more players inside your session. So when you're doing this method, the MTU settings, when you change that, and I prefer change it to 800, you will remain solo in this session most of the time, 99.9% .9 guys. So if you guys can see, I just stealing this amazing Roosevelt uh, Velar car and it looks very nice to modify like this. Uh, I have it though in my garage at the moment, but I didn't modify it yet, but it looks absolutely stunning when I'm looking at this one. And um, you probably also seen it in um, by stealing more vehicles. Uh, they are of course modded, so I have seen already of steel already or store some ready uh, some vehicles that look absolutely amazing when they are modified and they even have some special paint jobs so yeah this DLC actually works like uh, the bikers and the CEO uh, when you do the crates uh, you just order them and pick them up and store them in your warehouse well in this case you don't have to spend money 
on buying these vehicles but as you guys can see when you steal the vehicle in some missions you don't have anyone chasing you at all but like in this case you will still losing money because of the repair cost as you guys can see i'm now at 2300 already so this is um yeah the cost that you have to make to actually steal a vehicle but if you sell a vehicle like this one i have no idea no clue how much it will sell but at the end and you will your profit will be still higher than when you're doing the ceo um, mission or even the bikers business missions uh, when you're selling your stuff so i think this is so far the best uh, money method but uh, you have seen it in a previous video also to buy a lot of things it will cost you a shitload of money so you have to be rich um before you can afford this all so when you deliver this car i'm gonna show you a little bit around in my warehouse at the moment where i got already i think i'm at 29 or 30 vehicles already inside my vehicle warehouse so i'm almost having it full yep right over here and as you guys can see that my session is still in uh, solo but i'm in a public session so by doing this with the mtu settings uh, it will make the other players very difficult to join your session and like i said earlier before you will remain 99.9% .9 of the time in the solo session so you can um, do this uh, import export missions quicker without anyone messing you up so guys there you have it just follow the rules change your MU settings and you can play the import export by yourself nick for signing out